What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla, and on this video, I'm taking you guys back to last summer when we decided to sell our house. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle down below here. If you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know how a lot has changed in my life in the last few months. I'm not really here to talk about that just yet. That'll be in videos maybe to come. But for now, we're gonna go all the way back to last year and I'm gonna show you guys how we bought our new house selling our old house and walking you guys through the process because a lot has changed and I want to catch you guys up to speed on everything that I've worked on. For the past four years, I have been living in this adorable three bedroom, two bath townhouse, far southeast corner of the city. And it took our friends sometimes 30 minutes one way to visit. It had three bedrooms. We used one of the bedrooms as Devin's office. We used the other one as basically like my walk-in closet. The kitchen was the biggest sell for me. That you could sit and cook and be like preparing meals or doing something in the kitchen. You know, you're right in the middle of the sitting area. And we had just finished renovating our basement. We put one bedroom down there and a big open space where we had all of our workout equipment. So on today's video, I'm here to show you guys a little bit more about the process and what that was like for us. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. Let's dive in. Today is equally um, as much of a mess. We're uh, continuing the packing, cleaning. I have two empty bins here that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna take more out of here, get everything cleaned up so that when people look at our house, they're not seeing like hair, anything like that. So we're cleaning today. Here's Finn. Hi, babe. So what we were gonna do first was sort through all the rooms and find everything that we didn't really need to use in the next one to three months, package it up, get it out of the house. Okay, so I piled some boxes over there. So all of those bins and then as well as the boxes over there and then these boxes all have to be put in the garage. We're putting most of our stuff in the garage to help the house stage better and look less lived in. I think the hardest room that's gonna be for us to pack up when we move is gonna be Devin's office. Um, because we painted it black a few months ago and yeah <laughs> there's so much stuff in here wowza there was a lot of stuff in our house when you have more square footage you kind of just buy more to fill the space some kind of idea of what we wanted for our house. It had to be in a more central neighborhood, have a fully functioning basement suite. The living space had to be open concept or the ability for us to renovate to create that open concept. A dog park nearby. We only wanted to pay about $400,000 or less. And we wanted a backyard and for everything to be on one level. So we had a big list. We could do it, right? We got this, we can find a house. It was breathtaking on the outside. Like it looked like a cottage, had a very cute, adorable first like front window, but the layout of the house was very strange. You walk in and there's a, a living kind of front room space, if you will, to the right. There's like a dining area to your left and then the kitchen in the back. But what the real kicker was for me was if you went upstairs into the bedroom, there was a toilet in the middle of the room, surrounded by carpet. It was very strange. This was the whole weird thing about this house. Yeah. We weren't sure about the fact that there's a toilet in the middle <laughs> with this thing. <laughs> the rest of the bedroom was pretty cozy, and I did really like the little office space adjacent to the stairs. I think the biggest challenge for the house was the basement. There wasn't a separate entrance, so you couldn't have a legal basement suite. The basement was also not fully finished, so we'd have to go back through the process of finishing it as well, and that was something that we were just not willing to undertake. This is house two. The neighborhood, there is a cemetery right down there. The second house was more open concept. The living room and dining area were well put together. The biggest opportunity we saw here was the kitchen. It was such a huge space and needed a complete overhaul. 
There was this little seating area to the side that we could definitely put more cabinets, um, build it up against the wall. What we really liked about this house was the basement. It had its own entryway. The basement was fully finished. Somebody was already renting it out. It had this big wood burning fireplace in the corner of the living room. The kitchen downstairs was tucked away in a little nook and was super well done. And some drawbacks that we found to the house were that we would have to replace the washer dryers. And the fence along the one side of the house and in the back was a lot shorter, which meant that Maddie could probably jump over Orphan when he gets a little bit older. Okay, it's getting a little bit better in here. I uh, cleaned out all these cupboards. Sweet. We're only just going to be using these cupboards to have the rest of our stuff and then everything else will be cleaned out and ready to go. Was able to box up a little bit more things. And then I also went in to this closet back here and I cleaned everything up. And in these containers is all dog stuff. Our realtor said that everything that dog related has to come out of the house just in case they don't like dogs or they don't want dogs. So they won't be able to tell that their food is in there. So. So to get it ready for staging, I'm gonna put all my winter clothes into this tote to kind of get it less cluttered and all the extra junk I got down there, so. Let's talk about our bedroom for a second, okay? <laughs> so we sleep on a queen size mattress did have a bed frame from Ikea and we had put it on but it's way too high for bugs we had to put it back on the floor so now we want to sell our house we're gonna put the bed frame back for the bed so that it stages nicely and it doesn't look like this disgusting blob of like bedroom so okay I have to stop here and show you guys what the bedroom turned out to look like once we were finished staging because I feel like you don't believe me that it's gonna look cute so here it is right we cleaned it up good. Day two of house hunting. We are gonna go see, I think one or two houses that we've been looking at. One is super cute and has lots of potential in a good area and a good price. So we're gonna check that one out first. All right, here we go. Oh, beautiful living room. Now this living room isn't totally open concept, but I wonder if we can open up this wall a little bit more. The house was one level. The upstairs had two bedrooms, the master bedroom in the front and a small bedroom in the back. The two drawbacks upstairs were the bathroom and the kitchen. Both needed complete renovations. The downstairs did have a separate entrance and a legal basement suite. The only drawback with that was the basement was completely outdated and it needed a complete refresh before somebody was gonna live in it. And one thing that really sold us on this house was the garage. It had a functioning furnace and a room above the garage, so maybe we can turn this into a garage suite down the road. This last house was farther from our ideal neighborhood. It was a little over budget, but we wanted to come see it because it was completely renovated from top to bottom. Every house we had looked at had multiple rooms that needed a total facelift. With this house, each room matches the same color scheme and you can tell the amount of work that went into it. The upstairs has three bedrooms and two bathrooms, but one of the bathrooms is the ensuite to the master bedroom. We saw a house that had the backyard separated, so the people who lived upstairs had an exit that went into that side of the backyard, and then whoever was renting the basement also had an exit to their own yard, and it was really separated, which made that property look really appealing. Look at this. Holy, this like pantry. Like pantry. It's freaking insane in here. Like anything we've ever seen. Behind the door here, it has like its own washer dryer. This house was the total package and hopefully one day the house that we pick looks as good as this one.
It's Monday and today's the big day. Our realtor is coming over with a photographer and they're gonna take pictures of what our house looks like. We have spent the last couple of weeks just cleaning it up, emptying it out. 75% is in the garage. The rest of it is just kind of here all laid out and staged. We're hoping that these pictures capture a lot of people that wanna come in. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to sell. I'm gonna show you how we staged everything. I think our house looks great. I'm super excited. <laughs> Clearly we're not good bed stagers, but we're giving it our best shot. Finn's still here. Dev is gonna take him on a big walk for when the photo people get here. Bugs and Maddie are at my mom's. Oh, Finn has the hiccups. Here's my bathroom. Hey guys, welcome to my listing here in Laurel. We've got a brand new one here. It is a townhome, end unit, no condo fees. Coming to you close to schools, close to the rec center, close to transit, right across from a pond. This thing has it all. Come take a look before it's gone. Alright guys, like always, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next window. Bye!